Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video we're going to talk about hand detailers or how to fix hands. And this workflow is special thanks to Jan RT Studios and I'll provide a link to his YouTube video below and that'll I'll cover Jan RT's um, workflow in the beginning of this video as well as on the latter half of the video I'm also going to cover how Dr. Lieutenant Data has done his workflow for a new node called the Mesh Griff graph former okay so let's get started uh, so make sure you're running the latest version of comfy ui so go ahead update both comfy ui and any custom nodes that you have installed then head over to install custom nodes and make sure you have at least the impact pack installed the control net auxiliary pre-processes then anything related here to um, also this advanced control net, go ahead and install that. And uh, my workflow is going to have some comfy roll in it. So make sure that you have comfy roll. So that should cover the custom nodes. Then from a model perspective, make sure that you have at least the control nets installed. So if you have a look here, the one we will need is tile and open pose. So here's the open pose control net. You can go ahead and install that. And then here is the tile control net. So go ahead and install that. Now, if you see this control net hand refiner prune, you can go ahead and install that. If you don't have that, then I'll leave this link in the description. This is the Hugging Face URL. And you can go ahead and download this control net in paint depth hand. And when you download it, make sure that you install it here into your Comfy UI models control net folder. And there it is. Over here. Okay. So go ahead and download your control net models. Um, I'll also leave a link to the GitHub page uh, that gives you more details about this hand refiner and various control strengths that you can choose for for that uh, model. And here's the direct link also to the InPaint depth. Okay, um, so now uh, one last thing. I do have a GitHub page where I have each of the various workflows you can download and play with directly. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So close that down. And if you choose one of the workflows, uh, I have various sections in this workflow. So I'm kind of doing a highway at the top here i think that's what they call this which just simplifies all the noodles between the various nodes so let's start on the left uh, this is the jan rt workflow or very similar to it i just created my own that try to match his uh, and see if i got the same results so here you can choose your various models uh, here's your ultra analytics model and then your control net model. This is the one we you should have downloaded in paint depth hand. This is a checkpoint. You can pick any checkpoint you want. And then here's a VAE. And all of these models you should be able to download from your comfy UI manager. So over here, there would be your upscale models. You can go ahead and download those. And here's some VAEs. Go ahead, download that. And if I'm not mistaken, here is the SAM model, right? This one here. So you can go ahead, also go ahead and download that one, which is this SAM loader. Now I tried to use the SAM loader uh, later on in this workflow, but it gave me worse results, but I left it here just for reference. 
Once you have the model selected, we have our seed. I want to fix the seed here. So that just takes this seed and sends it down the highway to various downstream nodes. Then your positive prompt and your negative prompt. And let's just make sure we put in some kind of negative prompt. Okay. And then like a normal workflow, right? You've got your empty latent image, the size you want and your case sampler. And then we decode that into our initial image. Then from that initial image, is this is where the fun get, starts, okay? What we're trying to do is detect the hands, right? So this node here, the mesh graformer node is the new node that we're interested in. And that's going to detect the hand from that initial image over here. And then of course, we also using the simple detector um, from impact back, which will also detect a hand for us. So if we scroll to the left here, we can see we're using a boxed or a bounded box detector with the hand model and we're feeding that in here. And then you can also see I've left the SAM model out, okay, because it gave me worse results. Okay, once you've got all of that set up, what's happening down here below is just showing you the various masks that are going to come out of each one of these things. So what I've got is I've got what does the image look like? What does the mask converted to an image look like? And then that's for the mesh graform graform graph mesh graph. Alma, <laughs> however you say that. And then um, I've got what the simple detector output looks like as well. So just comparing them each. Then lastly, once we've identified the hands, we pass that into a control net. So the actual masked image goes into the control net. And then I'm using the positive and negative prompt to come in here. This control net model is the in-paint depth hand. Okay. And that goes in here. And of course, we send that again through a K sampler and we can decode that image. So this will be the first time we fix the hands and then we upscale, right? Using an upscale model. So let's cue that prompt and see what happens. It's generating the mask. Okay. And then it changes the, the hand over here. Okay. And there's not much of a difference. There's slight differences. Uh, but as you generate more and more images, you'll see uh, different images appear. Uh, what I will say is this new node actually does a really good job of masking the hands. Uh, but the impating mask looks like this. And you can see it's... I found it gave worse results if I took this mask and I sent it in here versus if I used the simple detector and I used this mask and I sent it into my new case sampler. So I got better results this way, sending this mask in, than I did with this mask. But I left the image going into the control net. So that's up to you um, to use this workflow and choose between the, the two different masks, the masks coming out of this node and the mask coming out of this node. Let, let's queue it up again. I do get different results. Like I noticed, Jan RT gets much better results than I do, um, but overall, you can see this hand is not that great. 
and then this hand gets slightly better but I'm still haven't had the great luck on fixing the blurriness of the hand itself so that's one workflow um, that I'll leave for you in the GitHub page that you can play around with. There is actually, there is two of them. This one is with a noise mask. So that's this node here. And then I have another one, which is a in paint. And that over here, I used a VAE in code for in painting as a replacement to see if I got any difference but it's a similar workflow. So anything where you see control net auxiliary, those are the ones that match up with the, the Jan RT's workflow. Now, if you look at Dr. Lieutenant Data's workflow and see how we compare that, I'll drag that in here. It's also got a similar setup or I'll try to match it to the JNRT, so you get a similar look and feel. We have our models that we're loading over here, going through our highway, generating our initial image, which is this one here. And then this way things change a bit, okay? We are stacking two control nets. So first we start with a tile with a, uh, it's a tile control net and a mesh graformer segment preprocessor. So this will give us the hand. And then we take that hand as a, as a mask and we stack it through an open pose control net. So we'll get the open pose look of that hand. Then lastly, we take that and we send it through this detailer debug which will produce a new image for us. And that's our first pass of that image. Okay. And then we pass it again through to get a second pass. And then lastly, we use a, another control net using the tile preprocessor to generate the last final image. And hopefully each cycle gets a better image. One thing to note, uh, if you want the original of this image, I believe it is, let's have a look. I think it is over here. So let me, okay. So if you go to Dr. Lieutenant Data Comfy UI extension tutorials, this is the original of this image. Um, so I've just got a altered copy of it to, to see if I could replicate the same behavior. So let's make sure we have our prompts set up and our models, and then we can go ahead and cue the prompt. Okay. So our first image. So look at this hand in particular, this hand over here, see how it changes. Okay. So it has a, a small change in the hand over here and you can see what the control nets are producing. Okay. And then here comes the second pass. All right. You can see it is getting better. Maybe not so much with the thumb, but definitely this hand over here on the guitar is, is better than the first pass. And then the very last pass over here. Okay. Which almost looks like the best. So that's how you can get better hands in some of your workflows. And that's all I wanted to show you today. I'll leave all the links in the description below. But if, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about stable diffusion and comfy UI, Please support this channel by subscribing and clicking the like button below.